Please be seated. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the United Republic of Tanzania, Mrs. Stor Mpango. Your Excellency, I'm told he's still chairing the session. Dr. Haile Marun Desalen, former Prime Minister of Ethiopia and Chair of AGRA Board, and the board members of AGRA. Dr. Agnes Kalibata, President of AGRA, Honorable Ministers and Deputy Ministers here present, the Principal Secretaries and Deputies here present, distinguished uh, political leaders, senior government officials, AGRA and other development partners and sponsors, representatives of various institutions, public and from private sector, both international and local, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to you all. At the outset, I'd like to take this opportunity to express my profound gratitude to the Alliance for Green Revolution in Africa, AGRA, under the able leadership of His Excellency Haile Mariam Desalen, Chair of the AGRA Board, and member of our National Organization Committee. Sincere thanks to Dr. Agnes Kalibata, the AGRA president for this well-organized African Food Systems Forum for this year, 2023, here in Dar es Salaam, the United Republic of Tanzania. We are happy and feel greatly honored as we have put our country on the world map when it comes to promoting the agriculture sector towards making Africa a food basket for the region and the world. <clears throat> Equally important, my country's gratitude to the many agro-development partners, I'm told about 31 of them. I therefore like to pay tribute to AICCRA, Alliance for Biodiversity and CIAT, Technoserve, Business Solutions to Poverty, World Vegetable Center, African Agricultural Transformation Initiative, Bridging Gaps Between Strategy and Impact, and Bill and Melinda Gates Agricultural Innovation for their support in, in sponsoring this forum. And more so specific thanks should go to the Gender and Inclusiveness Unit, the Generation Africa Platform, and other ecosystem partners for bringing us together at this uh, special town hall event. And without forgetting the speakers, moderators, and everyone who has contributed in one way or another to make the African Food System Forum 2023 very successful. Excellencies, distinguished leaders, ladies and gentlemen, and my youth. As youth form a large segment of the African population, they too have to raise their voice in matters that affect the, their life. Our gathering here at the Youth Town Hall give an exclusive opportunity to listen to them. I repeat, to listen to them. As we all agree, and as already stated, it is very important to hear their concerns, challenges, and hopes, so as to enrich our discussion as we are charting the way towards improving agribusiness for the young population. It is an opportune time for our governments to engage in discussion with youth and women on barriers and bottlenecks that prevent them from embracing agriculture as a productive sector that could enable them on their lives. We could as well get to know the challenges faced by those involved in agribusiness and the proposed possible solutions. As a host, 
allow me to narrate a story of agricultural program for youth in Tanzania. This country developed an agenda to make agriculture sector contributing by 10% to the Tanzanian GDP by 2030. In order to implement the agenda, we created a program called Building a Better Tomorrow for Tanzanian Youth. The main goal of BBT being to enhance and, en and engage, to enhance the engagement of youth in the agriculture sector for sustainable and improved livelihoods while contributing to the current efforts to reduce unemployment. Your Excellencies, the strategic objective of BBT are the following. One, to inspire youth to engage in sustainable and profitable projects through crop production, livestock keeping and fisheries. Two, empower youth through training, mentoring and coaching. Three, engage youth in profitable and sustainable agribusiness management. And four, enable youth led enterprises by improving business environment. As a national program, BBT was formulated through participation of government, researchers, private sector, youth themselves, and development partners. Major intention is to address challenges facing youth and women, which include access to land, limited financing, marketing challenges, and issues of inappropriate technology. The program envisages to create 3 million direct and indirect jobs by 2030. And in addition, during the same period, BBT is expected to call establishment of 12,000 profitable youth enterprises. Since its inception in 2022, BBT has successfully recruited 1,252 youth and women, and so far, 812 have been enrolled to undertake a four months uh, agribusiness training in 13 incubation centers for crops and 240 for livestock and 200 for fisheries. In crop subsector, youth and women will be allocated up to 10 acres of land under 66, 66 years sub leasing arrangement. be carried out in a farm cluster model. For purposes of improve, improvement, for purposes of improvement or improving youth agricultural business along the value chains, Tanzania shilling 10.7 billion have been set aside for the provision of grants and soft loans to them. There already exist positive indications that youth can be a center for food systems transformation in our country. This is possible only if the government is assured of a genuine support and the commitment of the private sector and other players like development partners. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, that said, let me assure this August gathering that Tanzania is determined to promote agricultural sector for not only its own benefit, but also for Africa and beyond. <laughs> Having said that, let us now hear what the youth have to say and what, what the youth have to hear from our governments. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Please take the seat in the middle. Thank you. Without further ado, let me call the people on stage that will be representing, of course, the brilliance that is the young